Like many designers, I got started with Adobe programs. I used to work with Photoshop and Lightroom for the most part. And then I discovered that some open source tools can actually do a great job. In particular, this one, Darktable. It's my replacement for Lightroom and I use it to process raw pictures and modify them to go from something like that, a dark picture to something I can publish on the internet. Let's take a slightly more appealing one as an example. Go back in time to the base picture and to the final thing that you can see on social networks. Darktable is a raw development tool. It allows you to manage your pictures, to tag them. More importantly, lets you use this darkroom to apply changes non-destructively to your pictures to take them from a nice shot to a professional result. Unlike Lightroom, it's not going to store all your images settings in a big database. Instead, it's going to create one file per picture. Why is that important? Well, you can take the pictures with you anywhere and you just need their companion file. You can work on another computer and it will automatically import all your history on the file. It means that you can't have your entire database go corrupt like in Lightroom and be completely f You have some light table area to manage your pictures, as I said. So there you can import folders in batches and they will be replicated in your folders tree. So these are all imported pictures. There you can sort images, you can delete them. And the most interesting part about this is the darkroom. If you double click on a picture or go to the darkroom tab, you enter this area where you can process your picture. On the left side, you find your history, you find your masks, one of the most incredible feature in Darktable. And on the right side, you will find your modules or your filters, everything you can use to process the picture. Starting with the interactive exposure, let me start from a new picture to show you that. You can start by setting the exposure interactively in the histogram at the top. And that's one of the strengths of Darktable. You have lots of interactive tools you'll see on the canvas. For example, if I want to apply a vignette, I can do so with the vignette editor at the center. When you add masks as well, you can draw them in any way you'd like. And you can visualize the mask anytime to see in which area your effect gets applied. Same thing when you apply a gradient filter. For example, you can manipulate the filter and the gradient applies behind the arrows in this case. You can organize the modules however you want. So this is very flexible in that regard and you can duplicate any. So in particular, for example, with the gradient filter, sometimes I want to modify the color of the sky a little bit at the end. I'm showing it at the start of the process, but imagine we're close to the end. So I want to add a blue color to the sky and I want to add some yellow gradient filter on the bottom right. I can duplicate any filter, anything you find in the program. You really organize it however you want. So I'll duplicate it and apply my gradient down there. I'm going to lighten the image. There you go. So that's the thing with Darktable. At the bottom of the modules area, you can find more modules. This is a list of all the filters that are available in the program. And there are many of them. Right now I'm in the last tab, the filter effects, the more artistic effects you can apply to the entire image or to an area with masks. You start with everything that has to do with the basic exposure, brightness, saturation, compositing your image overall with curves and everything you'd expect, the levels, you can use a fill light, you have many more of these. Then you have all that has to do with color, vibrance, you can increase the saturation of your image, etc. And uh, then you'll have some effects related to corrections. You can defringe the image, like remove chromatic aberration, you can denoise the picture, sharpen it in this one. And in the last tab, you will find filters that are a bit more like filters in an image editing program. 
you will find some split toning, you have the vignette, the bloom effect. Now you can duplicate, add, remove any of these. You can put any of these in your favorites and the last tab at the leftmost will give you access to everything you've activated and applied to the picture. And you can also use the history on the left to see a list of the changes you made. You can compress the stack as well. This is really cool. You can reduce the number of history steps, combine them without modifying the final result. We haven't talked about how to get Darktable yet. So head to the official website, link in the description. You can find a list of the features. You can also go to the install tab to download the installer. So it's available on many OSs and for me it's Windows where I can download the installer and install it like any program. Note that in the resources you will find the user manual which is absolutely great. When you don't understand how a given filter works in the darkroom, just go and read this one. It's really interesting because it explains some artistic things, but there are also technical details at the same time. It gives you a much better understanding of how raw image development works in general. And each page is self-contained, so it's very bite-sized. It's short to read. It links to other sections that are related. It's an excellent manual for an open source program, and it's much better than Adobe's manuals in general. I should say that the performances are great. So Darktable will use your GPU and the OpenCL library to run as fast as it can. Right now I'm working on a big raw file. It's really heavy on the computer and it can process the changes pretty fast. The experience is smooth, although I'm on a portable computer. Most of the pictures you'll see from me on social networks are processed with Darktable. And yeah, I highly, highly recommend that you check it out. Please give the developers some love for doing great work. I went from a few years working on Lightroom and never looked back. So um, Darktable, link in the description. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and see you in the next one.